So you decided to burn a hole through your credit card and get the ultimate gimbal setup. You have the Evo SS, the Hero 4 Black Edition, a polarizing filter, and a dead cat to make sure you get that epic trail sound. But what if I told you none of this matters if you strap it onto this? Hey everyone, my name is Joseph and today we are talking about action cam chest mounts. Now, everyone knows about the GoPro Chesty. Pretty much everyone has either seen this or has it. It's great for just action cameras, but the problem is, is that it really was never designed for gimbals in mind. A few reasons for that. First off, you have these thin straps that not only dig into you, but just really weren't designed for the weight of a gimbal. Secondly, the chest mount itself doesn't have a lot of surface area, so there, it's really easy for the gimbal to put too much leverage on the mount and it ends up flopping around. Now, I've seen people try all sorts of hacks and bodges to try to get this to be more stable. Uh, anything from pinning the straps together, to using an extra band, to trying to use the straps on their backpack to hold it in place. All of that is really just treating the symptoms of a bigger problem, that this was not designed for gimbals. So, what should you get instead? Now this is the Stuntman chest harness. I've been using this for quite a while and have been getting amazing results on it. You can't find it on Amazon right now, you have to order it directly from Stuntman. And I think that's why it's kind of an obscure item. Uh, basically, if it's not on Amazon, it doesn't exist. So, this is something that I haven't really seen on YouTube much. And whenever people ask me what kind of chest harness to use, I always recommend this, hands down. So let me go over the reasons why I am such an advocate of this product. The very first thing you're going to notice about this chest harness is the surface area. This is one of the reasons why it's so stable. It gives your gimbal more surface area to spread the weight across your chest. Uh, not only that, but you have these really thick straps that are high quality too. They have not started to stretch out and I've been using this for over six months at this point. Uh, they feel the same as when I first opened the package. Not only that, they're really comfortable. One of the things that I really love about this harness is the fact that it comes with so many mounting options. Out of the box, you get three different mounts. Now, right now, I have the articulating arm put on here, and this basically is allowing me to put the gimbal as low as possible to get that really nice over-the-bar view. Uh, you can mount the gimbal directly to the chest mount if you want to try to get it as close to your chest as possible to try to get the center of gravity closer to you so that way the gimbal doesn't jump around as much. Uh, even with the gimbal being a little bit further out, I found that this is amazingly stable. So comfort is another thing about this chest harness that I love. Now, no chest harness is comfortable. They all feel a little bit awkward and bulky, but this one is surprisingly comfortable. Uh, a big part of that is because of the fact that the plastic is actually very pliable. So you don't have these corners really digging into you. They kind of just flex out of the way and it more conforms to your rib cage than anything else. As I mentioned before, the straps on these things are really high quality and they really spread out the weight over your shoulders and your core. So you don't feel like it's digging in and, and chafing your skin if it gets against your uh, skin bare. Now a benefit to the plastic being slightly pliable is the fact that this thing is rugged as a tank. Honestly, you're gonna break your gimbal before you break anything on this. Uh, even the articulating arm and mounting points are all made of super sturdy plastic. So nothing on this is gonna fail on you. So it's comfortable and it's rugged, but how does it perform? That is the big question. Well, take a look at this slow-mo footage. So the straps on the chesty are as tight as I can get them. And even then, the gimbal is jumping up and down. That chest mount is doing absolutely nothing to hold it in place. Now, props to the Evo SS for trying to keep up with what's happening there. But if you look over at the Stuntman harness, while there is a little bit of play, it is insignificant compared to the GoPro Chesty. So it's comfortable, it's rugged, and it performs incredibly well. But what about price? That's the best part about this. Right now, on Stuntman's website, you can buy this for $30 with free shipping. The GoPro Chesty runs for $40 on Amazon. So for $10 more, you're getting a product that does not perform as well and does not last nearly as long as the Stuntman. What really boggles my mind about this is the fact that GoPro themselves have a gimbal, 
but they have not redesigned their chest harness, even after the outcry from all the users that the GoPro Chesty is woefully inadequate for gimbal use. Why they haven't redesigned it is beyond me. Maybe they're working on it, I don't know. In the meantime, I would highly recommend picking up the Stuntman instead. It's a better bang for buck and it's gonna last you. All right, and that's all I have to say about the Stuntman chest harness. I think it's an outstanding product. If you haven't given a chance yet, go over, give it a buy. It's only 30 bucks. It's nothing compared to what you spent on that gimbal setup. Uh, if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see future content. That's all I got for today. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.